proud of uh, the way the quality of the journal has improved, its look, look and its feel. And of course, the thing that has really been important uh, for us is the uh, guide to authors, which has allowed reproducibility of the results uh, that we publish in the journal. We have worked very hard to provide access to data in the in the journal which are likely to be reproducible and I think we're, I'm really proud of that. The second thing which has been a greatest achievement for us is to have convinced the Easel Governing Board to publish JHEP reports which allows the publication of the very high quality papers that do not find space in the Journal of Hepatology. And as you notice, you know, the impact factor of course drives the quality of submissions which has improved incredibly so really proud of all these three things that we have achieved. It was really surprising for me to see how engaged people have been with the journal, the commitment that I've had from all my co-editors, the editorial team, the associate editors and my peer reviewers which has allowed us to select the best quality papers with a turnaround time of less than 15 days. That has been an incredible uh, experience. One of the most important things about publishing scientific papers is allowing people access to these papers. And if I had my way, I would make all the papers open access in the Journal of Hepatology. I would just like to uh, finish by saying that it has been an incredible journey being the Editor-in-Chief of uh, the Journal of Hepatology these last five years. It's improved my science, uh, I've learned a lot, and I must uh, thank the Easel Governing Board who have been an, an incredible help to um, improve the journal, and of course the Journal of Hepatology office, which has, been, which has worked tirelessly with me to improve the journal that we have today, all the peer reviewers and my editorial team, and of course, most of all the authors who have trusted us with their best papers, and I would suggest that it should keep coming. Mm -hmm.